anyway, we're going to get straight into it. It's crazy. Been a whole lot going on from both sides. Let me tell you something. A whole lot going on from both sides, you know what I'm saying? We got Drake kicking it all. We got Kendrick coming out, coming back, kicking, swinging, punching. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot to talk about, y'all. You know? We got we're gonna go through all of the tracks, and uh, yeah, we we gonna have a uh, we gonna have a conversation about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting started, first track on the list. We going in exact order of the drops. You feel me? In exact order of the drops. First one we got on the list. We got Drake. 50 push-ups, push-ups, you know what I'm saying? So let's get straight into it, y'all. Let me know if y'all can hear it good. Sell to millions of people online with Shopify social oh, media and marketplace ads. integrations. Skip the ad. Mm. Here we go. First one on the list. See the split. Okay. The way you doing split? Metro, bar. shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. I like yeah, the I'm Metro bar. Guy. Got the first track. That's the very first track. Dropping, give me fifty. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. I think I think that one was uh I think that one was pretty fire, y'all. I think that he uh dressed a lot in that one. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just like first, like kind of just throwing out some jazz, kind of just lightly, lightly, play, playfully, kind of coming out. Coming out swinging though, you know what I'm saying? Not too playful. He coming out swinging, throwing some bars at some people, making sure he addressed everybody that was kind of ganging up and teaming up on him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. See what that Taylor made here. You know what I'm saying? That was just the first song. Everybody didn't hear it. You know what I'm saying? Not too much to say about that one. It was a good, good one to address everything. Else. Let's get into the next one. Okay. Like talking, 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 talking. How are you? Not All right, now it's track two of this entire beef saga. You know what I'm saying? Taylor made, Taylor made freestyle. You feel me? Not too bad. I don't know if the AI angle was the way to go with that one. You feel me? Not too, not a hundred percent sure if the Taylor made freestyle like with the whole AI angle. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? The two two verses was cool. Whatever. Drake definitely came in and did his thing, you know what I'm saying? So I think he was just kind of being more playful at this time because this is pre, pre-Kendrick pre euphoria, you know what I'm saying? Came in, fucked the whole game up, you feel me? So now we got now we got euphoria coming in, and I, that's when Kendrick kind of came in and, and kind of stood his ground and let people know where he was at because, you know what I'm saying? We kind of have, at this point in the, in the beef, we literally got like that, and then we got the two two Drake songs that drop right after that. You feel me? So uh, that's literally just this is the first time we get a full perspective of where Kendrick is at, like mentally with the beef or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So let's get straight into Euphoria. Uh, right now we basically just got some temper attack. You know what I'm saying? Just like some, some light jokes or whatever, and kind of just people Drake just addressing that everybody is kind of like you know what I'm saying coming out of heavily. So, so let's see. Now let's see where Kendrick is at. Ooh, shit, my man, see if you're still Euphoria. Cool, that was cool, that was cool. No more. Stop. All right, that was Euphoria by Kendrick Lamar. The Euphoria, I feel like that was that was definitely a, a way to freaking come in knocking people's heads off, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the difference in that and tracks that drake dropped at first you know what i'm saying i feel like it's just the energy that, that kendrick brought on that first one you know what i'm saying like i feel like still at this point drake is kind of like oh on am like oh you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm really a mob boss like i'm really gonna sweep you like i'm really not even like you're not even in that realm with me like that you know what i'm saying like it's cool you a rapidly rap dude and that's cool you know what i'm saying but you're not in that realm with me and i feel like Kendrick came out with something that's like not only good to listen to, good to thump, good to listen to, good, good to, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can bop that a little bit. I don't know if it's like a, oh, you can play it in the car all day or nothing like that. It's not like one of them or nothing, but like, it's definitely something like, you might play it. It's got replay value. It's got definitely got replay value. You might play it a couple times, you feel me? Uh, but yeah, I, th I think that's kind of just like the different. I feel like Drake kind of came out like, okay, hey, this is just like, hey, I'm just... Don't even, don't even play. You know it's not like that. Like, just, just, just stay in your lane. I'ma stay in mine. And I feel like Kendrick came out more, just like on some swinging. Like, oh yeah, bro. Like, 
I'm really going to knock you. I'm going to knock your head off. I don't like you. I hate you. Like, I feel like Drake didn't really have that hatred in his heart. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have that hatred in his heart when he was talking about him. I need, I, I want to hear more of that hatred coming out. Come, I feel like, okay, boom. He can say, okay, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no malice. I ain't had, never had no hard feelings towards, bro. I, I get that. But it's the way he's talking to you. You hear me, Drake? It's the way he's talking to you. You feel me? Literally, bro. Like, it's the way he's talking to you. Like, you got to you gotta meet him in the middle. And I feel like that's 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 what we kind of missing out of this whole equation or whatever, whatever. But y'all let me know what y'all think or whatever about the situation or whatnot. Now we got 616 by Kendrick. Another drop right after his drop, basically right in the same exact time. You know what I'm saying? So... Back into what that what I was saying about that. Now that was what we expected Drake to do. You know what I'm saying? We expected Drake to come come with you know what I'm saying? Well he did drop two tracks, which he did, you know what I'm saying? So this is Kendrick's two tracks in retaliation, you know what I'm saying? But uh but yeah, he, he really surprised us with that one, you know what I'm saying, coming out and dropping this right right. I've been using grammarly and we could just quick pause on that. We got a freaking academics this in there, you know what I'm saying? Let's play that back for a second. Play the academics this back one one more one more time again. All right, that's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I guess he has been a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Biased. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, anybody who has like a, a favorite or whatever is gonna be a little bit leaning towards one side or the other. Plus, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you have like a certain relationship with people and you've been in the game with them for a lot long time. You gotta realize some of these people like really been talking to each other, been in the game for a while. So like obviously, you know what I'm saying? If he knows Drake and he doesn't know Kendrick and he doesn't talk to Kendrick like that, obviously he's gonna be like, Oh yeah, that's the homie. So like, you know what I'm saying? If the, if the homie's in a war, bro, like, okay, obviously you won't side with your homie but it's like you also gotta Think about your impact, you know what I'm saying, as one of the the, the most major moments in hip-hop history. One of the biggest moments that may, may take place for the next 10, 20, 15 years. You know what I'm saying? Whoever knows how long before the next two titans go against each other, bro. Who knows when the next time that's going to happen. So, like, at, at this moment, this moment in history that this is taking place, you know what I'm saying, the people who have a voice, the people who have a platform... And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you got to keep it impartial. You know what I'm saying? No, no matter who no matter who you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even have that big of a platform. And I'm keeping it impartial. I just feel like you got a huge platform. And this is a platform that people are coming on to to talk about the conversation. And this and that. To, like, literally people come to you for the news, basically. People coming to you not just because they like you, but because they want the news. You know what I'm saying? Some people just want the news. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... Any other time, it's like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do what you do, because this is like, it is your platform. But at the same time, for for certain situations, like something like this, you kind of got to, like, throw that level of, like, the bias and this kind of out, out the way, you know what I'm saying? You just got to kind of report on it and stand back and just kind of let it happen, you know what I'm saying? You can get into it, though, you know what I'm saying? You're going to like the tracks. These are fire tracks. All these are fire tracks, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, also, it's, it's a, a strategic play from Kendrick's side, you know what I'm saying? It's a specific strategic play because it's like it's not crazy like he's just like pulling in there he just has a certain artist that he likes but it's not like he's like trying to spin the narrative like directly directly trying to spin the narrative 24 7 you feel me it's like yeah certain things he's kind of sugarcoating and stuff like that you definitely definitely can say he's, he's been sugarcoating this you know what i'm saying certain things but i just feel like it was a chess move by Kendrick in order to put that idea into people's heads because now you see like you know what I'm saying you go into academics live now you see compromise 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 you know, feel me so it's like now you you drilled that idea into people's head that he's compromised you know what I'm saying so it's, it's also a strategic move while he may have a level of biasness you know what I'm saying I don't, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't necessarily make him fully compromised when it comes to this situation and his reporting on the situation. But now that is called into question where people might not have been calling that into question so as much, you know what I'm saying, uh, previously into, up until that that happened, you know what I'm saying, until he said that. But anyway, we're going to get back into it and see what else he's saying. Okay, so now we got 616 in L.A., Kendrick Lamar, you feel me? So that was the second drop right after... The uh, the Euphoria drop. Now, as a direct direct comparison, I definitely think while Kendrick came off more aggressive, Push Ups is definitely the better track out of those two in comparison. 
But I definitely have to give it to Kendrick on this one. That's the whole like freestyle, and you know what I'm saying. If the if the idea of it was to keep it fully fully rap, fully lyrical on the the freestyle or the second tracks dropped, I definitely think you know what I'm saying. Obviously, obviously, I feel like Kendrick has like uh, kept the bar up to standard when it comes to pure lyrical ability in this competition in general. You know what I'm saying? We expect that from Kendrick. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying, Drake is definitely not lagging behind when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, his pen and his lyrical ability. But the but the the second track drop for both of them, the Taylor made it in the six sixteen, I just think like in comparison, they both were kinda, you know what I'm saying, empty I definitely, I think, you know what I'm saying, Drake probably threw more shots at, at Kendrick than Kendrick do at him, you know what I'm saying? I, I think he was just kinda more Showing his lyrical prowess on that one, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of showing his lyrical ability, kind of just stretching his legs, you know what I'm saying? This, these are more like jabs. Like, the 616 is, is like a jab, you know what I'm saying? The whole first whole first half of the song, he's not even talking about anything or anybody, you know what I'm saying, directly. He's got he's more talking about himself, and he's definitely better than the Taylor Made Freestyle. But as far as the depth in depth, I don't think nobody's going too far in depth yet. I just think that they're making, you know what I'm saying, they're making good tracks. They're kind of poking holes in each other's character. And yeah, that's basically what what everybody's doing right now. It's like it's Family Matters by Drake. All right, let's Maybe in this song, you shouldn't start by saying. Nigga, I said it. I know that you mad. I've emptied the clip over friendly or jabs. You mentioned my seed, and I deal with his dad. I gotta go bad. I gotta go bad. Mm, mm, yeah, draw, draw, draw. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the thought. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. If you had a set, they get your ass a DP. Two civilian gang in real life, you PC. You know who really bang a set, my nigga YG. You know who really bang a set, my nigga Chuck T. You know who even bang a set out there, CB. The nigga cold, lose his sleep on this, it ain't me. You better have some paperwork of that shit, fake T. Can't be rapping by no ratting that we can't read. I mean, it's true, a nigga slime me for my AP. Just like how Metro nigga slime him for his main squeeze. Out here begging for for attention, nigga, say please. Always rapping like you about to get the slaves free. You just acting like an activist is make believe. Don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees. Say you hate the girls I fuck, but what you really mean? I've been with black and white and everything that's in between. You the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen. And hit vanilla cream to help out with your self esteem. Also, Bobby shit, I wanna know what Whitney need. All that puppy love was over in y'all late teens. Why you never hold your son in Tell them say cheese We could have left the kids out of this Don't blame me You a dog and you know it You just play sweet Your baby mama catch was always screaming Save me You did it dirty all your life You trying to make peace I heard that one of them little kids Might be day free Don't make it day free Cause if your GM is your BM secret BD Then this is all making plenty fucking sense to me Hey. Let that shorty breathe, shake that ass, bitch. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake, now shake that ass for free. Yeah, yeah, we're not that kind of free. I'm talking about my nigga Dave. Yo man a Lil K, we call that shit a mini Drake. He always said I overlooked him, I was staring straight. These bars go over Kenny head no matter what I say. I know you like to keep it short. So okay, that was a Baby King, you know what I'm saying? Some shots at Baby King. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? One of the uh one of Kendrick's kids, I guess like that's that's uh Kendrick's best friend, Dave, Dave Free or whatever. That's rumored that him him and uh his ex wife or whatever has something going on or whatever, whatever. So I was like that's a little bit of a jab right there, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a jab, man. I feel like you know what I'm saying, now we getting a little bit more of a disrespectful Drake when we didn't have that last round, you know what I'm saying? While he did drop the better banger song between euphoria and uh and dropping gimme 50 i didn't think between those two songs you know what i'm saying he dropped a better banger song but we, now we're getting a little bit more disrespect we already got a lot of disrespect from kendrick you know what i'm saying clearly he's not afraid to take it there so now you know what i'm saying we getting a drake kind of kind of warming up kind of starting to swing and get get a little bit get a little bit grimy and shicey now so basically he freaking saying that y'all had this plan for a while y'all been planning this this is like a planned attack planned assault 
because y'all basically not only had sick Kendrick on them, you know what I'm saying, but they also were playing this big old album full of the freaking Avengers, Fantastic Four, everybody in the freaking Matrix, everybody in their mama to come jump Drake, you know what I'm saying, not gonna lie, this, this is definitely a jumping, you know what I'm saying, we can't lie, it's definitely a 20v1, my poor choose of the word slaves, you know what I'm saying, I definitely think that anybody can spin that in a negative light and make it into the negative, I definitely think that most people get what he meant, but they're they're playing. They're gonna play will it look will they're gonna play willingly and willfully dumb to push that narrative about you know what I'm saying Drake not being of the culture because I think that's what this whole entire thing has been about kind of just Kendrick and everybody proving that Drake is not really of the culture we've just been allowing him to kind of run the culture but he you know what I'm saying he is not the king of the culture I think this is kind of just like Kendrick trying to prove that he is not the king or or the, the top of the culture you know what I'm saying. So I think that, that that's just like it helps hit that home when Drake hit, it has untimely or undistasteful lines is like such as uh, trying to trying to free, free the slaves. You know what I'm saying? Like he definitely could have could have used better wording to say that or whatever. Especially when people are kind of like using you as like as a detached part of, from the black community. You know what I'm saying? People are kind of detaching you from the black community, and at that time you don't want to kind of further detach yourself by saying certain. You know what I'm saying? words and verbiage such as you know what I'm saying slaves and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? You might want to distance yourself from that and, and try to almost you know what I'm saying, you wanna try to almost regroup yourself with the culture, you feel me? Like you wanna you wanna try to uh make it feel like you 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 are embracing the culture and you've been embracing the culture and you've been rocking around the culture, not not like oh oh don't just use the you know what I'm saying the the uh the race angle or whatever, whatever. Which is true. You can definitely I definitely think that that's a, a powerful uh, point to hit on with, with, with Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that's 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 how he's basically pushing this narrative is by being on some fake activist, fake woke, you know what I'm saying? Fake, oh, oh, holier than now, I, I got, I, I can do better than you because, I, or I am better than you because, like, I actually grew up in this, I'm actually a part of the culture and I'm actually black, you feel me? And, like, I feel like if, if Drake could manage to, to not say the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying, and manage to, like, actually word things properly, he could probably word that in a way that would make people kind of kind of see see that instead of being a savior, kind of kind of flip the script into making him seem at, like a charlatan, like more of like a charlatan for the, for the culture, like, oh, somebody who, who just comes out whenever something something crazy is happening in the black community, and obviously they use that in order to drop songs or drop projects in order to, so they can capitalize on, on, you know what I'm saying, the hype that they get from obviously being uh, pro-black rights or pro-, pro, you know what I'm saying, BLM or this or that, you know what I'm saying? So you can definitely lean into the fact that, you know what I'm saying, that that seems to be the main time when, he, when he's vocal, the main time he's dropping, the main time he's doing something is when something is happening in the community or whatever, and, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, uh, you know, seeming like that's the only time he really wants to to, to, uh, to, 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 to give these old sermons of, of black rights and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not, it's like, it, like, it's definitely not an all the time thing. You know what I'm saying? We, we barely hear from Kendrick. Maybe he does some stuff in L.A. I've heard about him giving some money around L.A., but we know Drake's giving hundreds of thousands of dollars away, too. We know what he's going to give him credit for that. So why are we giving credit to Kendrick for doing a little bit of charity? Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Giving back, we we, we not 100% sure that he, he's been giving back as much as he says. We're not sure that he's as active on, on activism and actually, like, you know what I'm saying, going around and being active in, in each community and every, you know what I'm saying, in different states or whatever, whatever and whatnot as he puts on to the public, you feel me? So, now that's one of the biggest allegations thrown out about Kendrick in this whole thing is, is the whole, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, abuser, you know what I'm saying, angle that, that Drake has been using. And I don't know how much uh, proof there is to that. Supposedly there is some proof, you know what I'm saying, supposedly there is documents or whatever that's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, like police, like police records that got swept up under the rug or whatever about that situation. But until we do a deeper dive and find that out, you know what I'm saying, we're going to say that's like speculation. And, uh, yeah, that's been, like, the biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, that's a clever little bar, you know what I'm saying? It's a self-defense because he's bigger than you because, you know what I'm saying, he's so short, short in stature, you feel me? So that's we know the girls that you actually like, you know what I'm saying, because I guess Kendrick got exposed, you know what I'm saying? I guess he even exposed himself, basically, for, uh, you know what I'm saying, basically going out, out of his way to uh, sleep with it, some exclusively, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
white people basically like excuse me white women white girls basically so he was going out seeking out you know what i'm saying the company and exclusively i don't know if they were prostitutes if they were just girls or whatever whatever but uh yeah he was definitely going out of his way to to, to seek out the company of people who were not of the same complexion you know what i'm saying uh, not of the same skin tone, not of the same complexion, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. But when you are Kendrick Lamar, you feel me? When you're Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Mr. Morale, Mr. I, I'm, I'm Black Pride, Mr. I'm Mr. Activist, I'm Mr. Stand Up for all everything in the community or whatever, whatever. And and you know what I'm saying? And, and even if, even if you're that's what you do, and you and you still freaking um, enjoy the company. Of, uh, you know, of people from another race, you can't go out of your way to downplay or, or, or like discredit somebody for basically doing that, for basically either uh, liking people of another race or being uh, like half, you know what I'm saying? Because they say, you know, Drake's half, half black, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like basically, you can't be going around throwing around the race card and throwing, throwing your weight around with the race card. Like you could definitely still be active in activism or whatever, whatever, but you can't go around throwing your race card around and trying to be like, oh, this person is better than that person or, or, you, or you can't do it, but you can't stand over here with us because of the XYZ or you can't, you can't be in our, our side of the crowd because of this XYZ. You can't really go around doing that when you yourself go across the field to go, you know what I'm saying, dip, dip your toes in honey. You feel me? You go, you go, go across the, the grass to go dip your toes in the honey. You feel me? You can't go over there and do that and then come back and then try to cast judgment on the next man. You feel me? You just, this is the problem. So as soon as we get there, they dropped a freaking bob. That was a good one. Addressed a lot of stuff. Threw some stuff, poked some holes in Kendrick's character, poked a lot of holes in Kendrick's character. You know what I'm saying? Did, you know what I'm saying? Throw some slander on his name. Got got some questions that need to be answered and asked. But as soon as we start asking all those questions, within 20, you know what I'm saying? Within an hour, freaking Kendrick drops this. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father, let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man, your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa were the world condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind him. Life is hard, I know. The challenges always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grow. And hey, you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor, since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your leg, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business, that's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never code switch, whether right or wrong. You're a black man even if it don't benefit your goals do some push-ups get some discipline don't cut them corners like your daddy did fuck what ozempic did don't pay to play with them brazilians get a gym membership understand no throwing rocks and hiding hands that's law don't be ashamed about who you with that's how he treats your moms don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again be sure five percent will comprehend but 95 is lost be proud of who you are your strength come from within a lot of superstars that's real but you so basically, basically, you know what I'm saying? Saying Drake's on Olympic. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Basically, he said he cut corners. You know what I'm saying? The whole BBL angle. You know what I'm saying? It's just some funny stuff. Some funny stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm saying I don't know how 100% proven any of it is. So it's like you know what I'm saying? It's 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 good jabs. It's definitely good jabs. You know? Okay, so basically, say, so Kendrick taking it a step lower, getting it even even more disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, what I'm saying I feel like he already kicked it off. You know what I'm saying? Talking about sons and talking about families, whatever. So Drake clapped back, talking about you know what I'm saying, talking about his family, or whatever. So shoot, he clapped back again, trying to double down on on, on uh, you know what I'm saying, talking about his family. Now, what I will say is, like, while I do like the bars, I do like the, the production, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely like it, like, like the way that Kendrick stru structured this song. This is a very meticulous, let me pick you apart, let me let me lean on certain things while also keep, keeping the, the track quiet at certain moments so that you can actually listen to exactly what I'm saying and, and hear home on certain points. But also, like I said, there's, there's a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of, like, false things put into the song. So that kind of just gives a little bit less value. And also, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, the whole, like, debating over our parenting styles, are you a better dad or am I a better dad? Oh, and like that, that, that's a, 
pretty lame shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not that that lit of a conversation. Like I don't I don't really care if you're better than that. like like the pe- people, but these people probably spend more time or just as much time as your parents spend with you. If not, if they if they don't have even more time to spend with their kids, so it's like, are we really thinking sitting around thinking like, oh, Drake's a dead be dead that doesn't spend any time with Adonis? No, like, I, like we see videos of him with him. He's always with, like around him, and Adonis looks happy to be around him, man. Like he doesn't look like, oh man, I'm, I hate that this is my day. He looks like he's having a great time. You know what I'm saying? Beating on whether you're a better father than me, like, it, like we're not in your houses, fam. You can you can try to create certain narratives, but we're like we're not in your houses. Like, it it it's just it doesn't hit that hard. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's not a really a a super crazy hard point. Like, oh yeah, I'm a better father than you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I guess I guess so because a lot of people listening are like older heads or whatever, whatever. Like older people like to like to hear stuff like that, like debate about parenting styles or whatever, but. Like, all we see is debating our parenting style. Like, hey, just make sure you're doing right by your kids and you're in their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, how about we applaud a father for doing that shit? You know what I'm saying? Not not just for doing the bare minimum, but for doing the bare minimum plus some. You know what I'm saying? For being better than most of the fathers that we've already had. I'm sure that both of these two men are better fathers than a lot of people had. So, I'm saying, like... You know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like it's not a point. In de- if, if we have two good parents, there's no point in debating parent. You know what I'm saying? Parents. For hardest gambling. The- He's doubling down on. Uh, I hate the women you. You know what I'm saying? The women that you get down with. I hate the. You know what I'm saying? I hate all this stuff about you. So okay. So he's doubling down on that. Doubling down on the whole like Epstein thing or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, yep. Saying that definitely, definitely has a little bit of proven validity to that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's nothing painstakingly oh my goodness we need to get you freaking uh arrested today type type timing but it's just like some stuff that doesn't look too good optically you know what i'm saying some stuff that look, you know what i'm saying rubs you the wrong way gives you the wrong feeling you feel me so uh so that's definitely definitely um a shot so but you know what i'm saying the whole like you know what i'm saying i want him to die i want him to die you know what i'm saying that kind of you know what i'm saying that that's 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 given that hatred that 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 I disdain type of feeling that I've been talking about that's been coming from Kendrick like it's literally straight disdain hatred type type feeling that uh, Kendrick is giving every time he drops it's not no you know what I'm saying no, nothing is playful about what he's saying everything he's he's saying that he's portraying it in a manner whether it's truth or not whether it's uh, yeah, even a lick of truth even whether there's an ounce of truth in it at all he's portraying it in a way that he's like I hate you this is facts and you're the scum of the earth, and we should get you up out of here. So that's that's what I feel like. That's the only thing that I feel like we're 100% missing from Drake is that we haven't gotten a ruthless, I hate you, you're the worst person on earth, I want to spit on you. Like everything, like everything that's like negative that's coming from Kendrick Lamar that, we, that we're not like getting from Drake. You know what I'm saying? We getting him addressing certain things and poking holes in them and just kind of just being disrespectful. But we haven't gotten that just aggressiveness. I don't, I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? And it goes right back to that kind of fake woke, fake activism type of thing. It sounds nice to say those things, but on a one-to-one basis, who has helped more black women in the industry than Drake? Name one other male artist other than maybe like Lil Wayne that's helped more black women in the industry than Drake. No, no, nobody's gonna be able to come up with another artist that's on the same level and caliber that's helped literally create, create whole stars out of black women other than Drake. We do not see Kendrick doing that, so he can say what he wants about that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, a lot of these bars are, are good, you know, but we got to keep it 100%. We got to get credit where it's due on both sides. You know what I'm saying? And there's no, no, no shade to Kendrick, but I feel like he leans so hard. He leans so hard into this oh black activist, black rights, black this, black that. You know what I'm saying? And he's doing that on purpose. But when he does that, we also, as a community, got to keep him in check on where he's. You know what I'm saying? Just using that card, where you know what I'm saying? Where he doesn't even have room to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be the pot calling the kettle black. You cannot be. Uh, a, a race baiter and uh, you know what I'm saying doing all these things to, to, to provoke all these conversations about race when, when you yourself go out and sleep with white women you cannot be an activist and, and saying all this all, you know what I'm saying or or, or um, he hates black women or this or that when he has helped more black women in the in the industry at least in the industry in the public eye 
help put more money in black women's pockets than you ever have. You feel me? Then then the Kendrick ever have, and he is also not the one with the beating and in 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 abuse allegation, the beating and abuse allegations. So if anybody really is the person that we can say that really you would hate black women, would be the person that has the beating allegations. You know what I'm saying? Because you have actually put your hands on a black woman. You feel me? So that's 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 all I gotta say about that. It's like you really shouldn't be poking poking too much out on on. On, on, oh, yeah, he hates black women or this or that because, sir, you literally are have have uh, pending allegations about you literally beating on, on the black women. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? I know he mentioned Sexy Red and other people like that in, in his earlier disses. They were coming into the industry doing what they do regardless. All, all Drake did was hype them up. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, 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 there's an interview from Young Thug, and maybe we'll play that a little bit later, but there's an interview from Young Thug that literally talks about how connective. Drake has been for the culture and for the for the industry and for new artists. You feel me? And I feel like we we don't have that from Kendrick. So do say what you want. You know what I'm saying about it? But I feel like as far as like helping people, help discover new people, help hype people that we wouldn't have previously known about up, we got to get that to Drake no matter what. I will say, like I said, if a lot of these allegations get panned out to be true, I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much uh, dunzo like uh, cook season for Drake. You feel me? But like I said, a lot of this stuff needs to be uh, proven without a shadow of a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like I know what the whole like P P three D O allegations they have. Like you know what I'm saying? The, the text messages of him and Millie Baby Brown. She already came out and cleared up and said like nothing, nothing really was happening. I guess like I guess you can say it was a little weird. I guess you know what I'm saying? But he he is a famous person and a famous actor. You feel me? So people he might talk to people. You feel me? He's Drake. Part where he was he was on stage with the girl. So that part right there, there's, there's nothing you can really say about that. That was probably the weirdest thing I ever seen in my fucking life, for real. You know what I'm saying? It, it looks crazy. It sounds crazy. It, it's pretty insane. You know what I'm saying? That that one video where he's up on stage with the girl or whatever. That, that is a very bad optically looking video. So that's another strategic, very strategic move by Kendrick. You feel me? Super strategic move by Kendrick to just like to basically call out all the people, all the people that hang around Drake. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Basically, doing doing what you would do if if the if the predator allegations were actually true. You feel me? If the predator allegations are actually true. You know what I'm saying? You you informing all the people around you, all the you know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody around you to to, to st stick away. You know what I'm saying? So he he is feeding into to that same type of like feeling. He's trying to give the audience that feeling of like oh this is real. I'm warning all the people people around him, you know what I'm saying? I can tell the the games that Kendrick is playing. He's definitely like playing playing this whole uh Mr. Um holier than thou, bigger than ever. Oh, he 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 he's the one that hates women and I feel like he's using that, you know what I'm saying? He could be using that to kind of take a little bit of the blame off of himself, you know what I'm saying? You got anything that you can kind of say to keep 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 him at a whole more high ground like he's you know what I'm saying? He's a great person. He's he's a way better person than Drake. Is, is basically what he's going for here. But anyway, right after that, he literally drops with the cover with Drake's house with with the uh, the uh, sex uh, sex offender registry pointed on his house with a bunch of indicators on there. You know what I'm saying? He dropped not like us. So let's see. Not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Okay, that's a little. I'm messing with it. That was a vibe. Some L.A. thing. You know what I'm saying? Some L.A. L.A. vibes. You feel me? I'm messing with it, you feel me? That, yeah, I feel like Kenny really came through and, and really tried to slide on him with that. You feel me? He really tried to spin back and really slide, especially dropping them both around the same time, you know what I'm saying? A couple hours apart or whatever, whatever. Like, dang, he really tried to come in and slide on him for real, you know what I'm saying? Doubling down on a lot of on the stuff he said, but like put it in a fun, like catchy type of way, you know what I'm saying? Putting it in a fun bop type, type song, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You, you expect Drake to, to drop one of these. You know what I'm saying? You would expect him to drop one of these already, like some, some more by like, you know what I'm saying? Some of the other ones definitely stand up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? The 50 push ups and the family matters. There's definitely uh, some of them that stand up fully, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to the test. But I feel like this one is literally the most bop, like club banger, like some real shit that people can slide and dance to. You feel me? Like people. People actually getting out and dancing and, and, and bopping and turning up to this one. So I feel like that. You know what I'm saying he accomplished that mission. I'm saying it wasn't fully mainstream. It wasn't fully popularized. It wasn't seen to the public and to the masses like it is today and fully digested like it is today. Whose fault is that? That is, it, it was digested and received and on a global 
on a global scale. Drake. It, it is literally, quite literally, thanks to Drake basically putting a lot of attention on some of these dudes. That's why I said, you need to go back. If you have not seen it, go back and watch the Young Thug interview and talk about why, like, basically him talking about, like, why Drake is the big homie of the game. Like, there's a reason that they consider him an OG, even though a lot of people are pretending as if, like, oh, they don't know these things and this is just brand new. And, like, you know what I'm saying? They don't know what Drake means and what Drake does mean to the culture. You know what I'm saying? So it's... It's crazy to see. I definitely think that, you know what I'm saying, he's lost, the, he's losing the culture. He's losing the grip that he has on the culture. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's still crazy to me to see the, the people who know the thing, the things that Drake has done come out and now, like, turn around to, oh, some, some oh, culture vulture type thing. Like, yeah, I think, I definitely think that there's times where he's, like, swooped in and tried to, like, you know what I'm saying, maybe even take somebody's sound or, like, swoop in on somebody's sound, you know what I'm saying? But all major artists do that. They, they they give the most hate to Drake for doing it, but there's like all artists do that. They they've done it throughout the years. It's how they stay relevant throughout the years. All artists that have stayed relevant throughout the years, they do it through the use of basically bringing in new talent, trying to swoop in on new talents, ideas and stuff. Just basically trying to find new ideas through you know what I'm saying through any type of means that they can. The way that these people, and like I said, go watch the Young Thug video, the way that people talk about Drake, especially in the industry, especially those people talk about how he embraced them when he didn't have to, they're now regarded as some of the best in the industry and regardless of some of the ma most mainstream artists in the industry because they got led in by the most mainstream artists in the industry, period. That's why they they got they they rose to that height because some of their first songs put them in such a mainstream industry light that they were able to basically continue continue that you know what i'm saying but for kendrick to be saying that as a person who's who, you know what I'm saying help a handful of artists maybe it's just so weird to me that people are that are, are are running with that sentiment you know? and in that department i have to 100 percent give it to jake I, I i cannot agree with kendrick in that area because there's so many black men and women so many black men and women who he has helped make superstars not just famous superstars a-list artists that he has literally put the spotlight on so i i can't i can't i can't discredit him from doing that i i i, I can't it's like it sounds really good and i think that that's a part that we're missing from from drake i feel like he's so Focused on the words themselves, and each actual, each individual accusation, each individual thing that Kendrick has said, that he he's forgetting and are basically not seeing the fact that Kendrick is winning and up in the battle simply for the fact that he's he just standing on what he says, like he just he's coming aggressive. He, everything he says, it sounds like he means it. It sounds like he means it to the T. Like he he would die based off of what he believes. So. That's that's the way he's coming. That's the way he's giving his cadence. That he would die for whatever that he's talking about. You feel me? So if he if that's the energy that Kendrick is coming with, Drake has to have that same energy that I am willing to die over what I'm talking about. I'm willing to kill over what I'm talking about. I'm willing to spit on you, slap you, beat the shit out of you if I see you. Whatever needs to happen, I'm willing to do that because that's the energy that Kendrick is coming with. He's coming with the 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 I, I want to kill you energy. But anyway. Let's get into the heart part six. Mmm. Mmm. So he talks saying he basically fed him the information, fed him the pictures of the of the, of the bottles and the receipts and everything, fed that information just to see if he would use it. And of course, Kendrick took the bait. You know, I really don't think you can use the whole I'm too famous lyric. You know what I'm saying? There's definitely a lot of famous, too many famous. But I think that's the reason that this shit is sticking so home. That he said that is because there's so many famous people getting exposed for it these days. Like so many famous people getting exposed for being predators. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's that's why it's like oh it's such an easy thing to say these days. So it's like it's 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 harder for you to defend it by saying it's because I'm famous when everybody thinks that all famous people are like that already. That's kind of just like the sentiment that's going around right now. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had to say something. You know what I'm saying? He literally had to address it in some way. The last one that was the heart part six. I had a lot of people saying that, you know what I'm saying, oh, drink something like on the black back pedal and stuff like that. But I feel like this was a needed one, you know what I'm saying, especially with, you know what I'm saying, the depth of the allegations that were that were put on them and everything. I definitely think that this is a, a needed one, but I definitely think, they think that this should not have been a solo track. Like, 100% think that 
this one should have been in combination. I don't know if he thought that uh, Kendrick was going to drop like right after this, so maybe he was waiting on that. But I think that this should have been in combination with another like heavy like club banger. Like this one should definitely be dropped. So like you can say, oh, go listen to the hard part six. I addressed all the allegations in it. Like I'm saying, I, I cleared them up or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm he needed to also drop a club banger because you know what I'm saying Kendrick has that that one up on him. By having that hit, you know what I'm saying? He has that, that one club banger hit that kind of gives him that edge. Because if it was a one-to-one -one comparison, we got 50 push-ups. I mean, give me, give me push-ups, right? Push-ups was a banger. Then we got tailor-made freestyle. That was cool. You got Euphoria. Euphoria is a banger. In comparison to push-ups, I feel like Kendrick probably lost that battle because this is a little bit more boring it's a little bit more you know what i'm saying it, it, it wasn't as hype 50 push-ups got a lot of replay value it's got a fuck ton of replay value so then you got taylor made freestyle versus 616 in la 616 in la is a good body it's a good li very lyrical very technical and lyrical song while it's not the most direct why it doesn't like just freaking take anybody's head off it is a very lyrical and technical song with the with some replay value you know what i'm saying not a ton but some replay value so I think it beats out Taylor Made Freestyle. So it's a two to two right now. Two to two in, in when it, when we lead up in six sixteen in LA. So then we got boom, the family matters, and you got Meet the Grams. Boom. Got Meet the Grams. Alright, I don't have them all up here anymore, but you got <laughs> Family Matters, which is a, a good solid song. Family Matters is a banger. It's got a great production on it it's got a great uh like you know what i'm saying uh catchiness vibe to it it's it's, it's a bop it's, it's it's a good song that addresses a lot of the things it touches on a lot of things it pokes holes at kendrick and it also has a lot of like replay value to it you know what i'm saying like uh, then we have meet the grams that comes out which is like a more eerie different take on the song it's not a better song than family matters i definitely think family matters is a better song and also i feel like kendrick loses a lot of points for basically taking the bait, you know what I'm saying? We have to, we have to put that into play. You know what I'm saying? I hate that people are kind of taking that out of play. Like, I think that it, it definitely plays a big role that uh, Kendrick took the bait and was basically baited into saying certain things in Meet the Grams. Oh, a lot of the angles that uh, where's the Meet the Grams being bait, I have to put that way below uh, Fan Match. As good as a song as this was, you know what I'm saying, and as good as a, as a hit as this may have been, a lot of the stuff was just so false and so fraud and set up by Drake that it's almost like, you know what I'm saying, it's part of the chess move. So I definitely have to put uh, so extra points on that and probably like knock Meet the Grams down. But then you have to give Kendrick extra, extra points because he dropped Not Like Us at the same time. So that's not only strategic, but it's also a great song. It's also one of the fire songs that's come out of this entire beef, this whole beef. One of the best songs that's come out is Not Like Us. And it's because it's not only addresses a lot of things, but it also creates a hook. It has callbacks. It, create, it has a, a hook that people will remember. And it also has... Uh, certain chants within it that you know what I'm saying basically not only poke fun at Drake but they're very rememberable. You know what I'm saying? You know, OB Ho and all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's all those things that not only make it a song that's so rememberable, so singable, but it also pokes fun at Drake. So you know I'm saying that that's that's what you would expect Drake to do in this situation, but instead, you know what I'm saying, Kendrick beat him to the punch. Because he didn't and because he kinda went on the defensive a bit I would have to give Kendrick that slight edge, that slight win over him at this current point. So I would give it a 3-4 um, as far as that. I feel like if we're going out of 10, I would say it's like a 10-8. I would say roughly it's like a 10-8. We go in boxing terminology, I'm going to say that this is currently at a 10-8 as far as round, round for round. It's like at a 10-8. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments. We will be talking about it. Hopefully we get more drops. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we get another drop. Hopefully... You know what I'm saying? Hopefully to keep it even, at least to keep it, you know what I'm saying, roughly neck and neck even. We need Drake to drop, you know what I'm saying? We need him to drop another one, and it needs to be a club banger. It does not have to be another rappy rap song. It doesn't need to be another this or that. It needs to be a motherfucking hit, some some control, a hotline bling from freaking some some vibe stuff that's going to have the clubs rocking for the next six months. You feel me? A club banger that's going to have a club rocking for six months after this. And it needs to be aimed at Kendrick in some type of way, form, or fashion. That's the only way I feel like Drake can come back right at this moment. If not, he might be down and out. He might be out of the count. He might be out of the race. You know what I'm saying? He has been not ducking no face. He's been out here standing on business. He's been out here 
doing what he needs to do. I don't think Jay is just getting his his ass beat in this in this in this uh, competition. But I think that Kendrick is a formidable opponent. He is a crazy formidable opponent. He is different. He is a titan. He is a big dog, and he was not gonna take this thing laying down. He was not gonna take it easily. So I think that that's a problem that that Drake is having. Like he he cannot win this easily. He needs to really. Getting, I think the EM said he's on tour and stuff, so it's a little bit hectic or whatever. But he, he needs to really lock in and show Kendrick why you know what I'm saying that he's good in, in, in beefs. You know what I'm saying? Most of the culture got Kendrick winning, but y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Leave a like down below. You feel me? Leave a like, comment. Let me know who you got. You feel me? Let me know who you got in this race. You feel me? And uh, yeah. We're going to um, talk about it some more, and I will be back on if uh, somebody drops. You feel me? I will hop back on this mug, and we'll talk about it. Anyway, appreciate y'all for coming in. Tune in. Peace. We out. See you. All night long, I got 20 rounds in my palm. I don't want to do you pussy in your